To sew on Swarovski Crystal Sew On Articles, we just need a few tools and materials. Here I just have a length of nylon beading thread, and I chose nylon uh, as an option for sewing on crystals just because it's a little bit stronger, it resists fraying, and also resists knotting. This is a wide eye beading needle. The length of the eye runs almost the whole entire length of the needle, so it makes it very easy to thread. It's also double pointed so you can stitch in both directions. It does mean that both ends are sharp, so just keep that in mind. We have some material, could be any material that you're working with, and of course we have our Swarovski crystal sew on articles. Here's one that is more of an accent, just gets stitched on. This one has function as it works just like a button, because it is a button and a lacrosin, which is a single hole sew-on element. And then I'm just using a seed bead here to work as a stop to keep the lacrosin in place on my material. To sew on the accent sew-on article, I will bring the needle up from behind the material, add one of the holes on the side of the sew-on article, and then leave a tail that's just long enough to be a comfortable length for creating a knot. Bring the needle through the material. Pull the thread through, looping over the crystal. And then I like to bring the needle up through about the same area just to keep my stitches nice and neat. Oops, caught the scissors. Pull that all the way through. Bring the thread back down. And do that a couple of times just so it's secure. Pull that tight so it's nice and neat. And then tie a knot. You can use any knot you're comfortable with. I typically default to a surgeon's knot, which is bringing the left thread over the right thread two times, pulling that tight, and then bringing the right thread over the left thread, which because of the nature of the way the knot's going, it's the same thread you started with, and pulling that tight just to create a nice secure knot. And then trim those threads nice and close. And of course, depending on the application, you can add a little bit of glue to the knot just for extra security, but in most cases, that's not necessary. And then repeat for the other side so that your article is nice and secure. When sewing on the button, I want to hide my thread behind the button. So I'll bring the needle down through the fabric, working from the front to the back, and I'll leave a tail in the front that's again a comfortable length to knot with. Bring the needle up from the back and I try to space the hole placement so it's similar to the placement of the holes on the button. Thread the button on, pass the thread back through the material. Again this is a button so it just gets sewn on just like a button. Pass the needle up through the fabric, getting that second hole. We'll go back down one more time. You can do this as many times as you'd like, just so it's secure. Now this time when I come up, I'm going to pierce the fabric, but I want to not go through the button. So I want to come in behind the button. And then I will take my working thread and my tail thread and again do a surgeon's knot and this time when I pull the threads to tighten the knot I want it to land behind the button so that it, you can't see it. Finish the knot and then trim the threads. And you'll of course want to trim them nice and neat. So get in behind the button and 
trim them so they're nice and close. To sew on the lacrosin, I'll come up from behind, leave a tail that I can knot with, thread on the lacrosin, bring it down to the fabric, pick up a seed bead, slide it down, oops, slide it down so it rests against the lacrosin. Now I'm not going to pass back through the seed bead, I'm going to bypass the seed bead but go back down through the hole of the lacrosin and pull the thread. And now the seed bead will act as a stop and secure the lacrosin in place. And you can repeat that thread path a couple of times just so it's secure. And then form your knot on the back. Trim the threads and you're good to go. And with these sew on articles and lots of colors and options to choose from, your designs are sure to be unique. Check out dreamtimecreations.com for all of the options available to you.